Hi everyone, it's another day, another share. So, um, it is super cold here, super, super cold. Uh, we had high winds yesterday, the temperature has dropped like a ton of bricks, and the house is, is it, it feels cold because we don't put our temperature up or anything. I'm in the basement, I've got warm slippers on, and I decided to do a pajama day. So I have my pajama bottoms on, and I thought that it's just too cold. My knees get cold. The pajama bottoms are so much more comfortable and so much warmer than uh, wearing my dress pants. And it's just one of those days. It's, it's pajama day. So I have my tea and I thought I have done a little bit of work in the studio. I've done some computer works, filling some orders. And I thought that it was time to come on and um, show off some of the restock products and some of the new stuff that has come in uh, recently. So let's get to the restocking. So the first restocking I want to show you is these bundles. So this is the gray and mustard and this is the green bundle from Chic Escape. And I had these, they sold super, super fast. So I rebundled them, okay, and I bundled them up really nice. And they're there's five fat quarters, and it's twenty five dollars and twenty five cents plus tax and whatever shipping. So there is that. Now I'm getting ready for shows and everything, so I'm bringing stuff in. I'm redoing stuff. So check out the website on a regular basis because you're going to see new stuff. Um, because with my first show is in April, so I'm starting to prep and bring in products for those shows now. Um, and if they sell out before the shows, then I just restock or bring in other stuff. So um, I've had this in the past. It's called a Perfect Baste. It is um, adhesive. Uh, it's like 505, except a different brand, slightly different brand. This says odorless, colorless, spotless no mist, acid free, free of CFCs and does not gum up needles. So great for um, quilting, sewing, craft, applique and embroidery. So, so this is a restock. All right, another restock is Monster Mash. Um, this is um, a designer in um, in Canada, he uh, he's in the maritime area. I'm not sure exactly where, but he's in the maritime area. That that much I know. And I will show more new patterns that I brought in, but I have other ones. And this one sold out really fast. I think this is cute. Look at all the all the variations, and you can come up. You can take the components and come up with your own variations of monsters. He's shown you quite a few here and you can come up with your own because I think you know you can do different eyes and different hands and you just do your combinations. So he's done a whole bunch of combinations here and a whole bunch here. Now and he says a hundred of monster possibilities. Now each monster mash, each monster block is 13 and a half by 33. So they're not small. So if you just want to do a little wall hanging and choose your own combination and do one of these up for a kid's bedroom, that would be amazing. Just as cute as a button. Now, I also wanted to show you, now a couple of weeks ago, I think it's starting uh, last week and the week before, I'm not sure exactly, um, I showed uh, a tutorial on making these placemats. This is a new pattern that I've kitted up. I've written the pattern and so um, super easy and I've done a tutorial on how to make them but I have and I'm going to make I have two of them kitted up. I will kit up uh, do kits in this at least one kit in this colorway with those fabrics and in each kit you'll have uh, enough fabric to do the f to to do four of these in um, for the front and four for the back. So those are the fabrics that will be in each quilt kit. This one is the this one is this purple, like it's a, like a fuchsia purple that goes with this fabric very nice. The pattern is in there. You have all the fabric 
to do the four fronts and your backs. Uh, you just have to cut, sew, and uh, uh, supply the batting to bat it up. And that's one colorway. That's another colorway in this this batik red. Uh, this 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 one screams summer. This would look lovely um, on a summer uh, picnic table or something like that. So I'll be doing up more of those. Just go on the website. I'll put the link down below. Now I want to go over some new patterns. Okay, so this is from Cluck Cluck Sew, and a couple of weeks ago I did uh, some tutorials. I had a big box of strips that I were left over from my binding. And I showed two ideas, um, uh, two different videos with ideas on how to use up some of those strips. This, this, is, this came to mind, this pattern, when I saw it, I said, wow, I can use those strips to do this because it calls for two and a half inch strips and uh, some fat quarters. But this, to me, is a stash buster. So this is uh, done by Cluck Cluck Sew, and it's called Tulips. And I think it's it's such a, uh, a beautiful fabric, a beautiful, beautiful pattern, and it's a great um, uh, stash buster. Another thing is, is here in Quebec, we are not allowed to hand out plastic bags anymore. It is, um, um, it is banned. Plastic bags are banned uh, to be handed out uh, from stores. Um, so um, I thought this addition would be great. This is, uh, you see the pocket in the front, you can fold this up and slide it in, you can fold and turn it into that pocket and it will, um, uh, it says tuck the bag into the pocket for easy storage and the bag finishes at 14 by 12 by 7. So it's a good size shopping bag and um, it calls for main print a half yard and contrast a half yard. So that could be a stash buster also. I'm probably going to be making up some of these uh, bags. Um, I think that's a great stash buster. Another great stash buster is this uh, from Slice of Pie Quilts, uh, the Dino Roar. And I think those are applique because they call for, I haven't read the pattern, they call for light steamacine 2. But I think if I did that, I would prefer doing it a uh, needle turn. Um, they have three sizes, a pillow, baby, and twin. And the twin for the border takes a yard. And then three yards for the back. And this calls for 16 fat quarters. But again, I think this is really a stash buster. You can go into your stash to make all your dinosaurs. They have prairie point... Um, uh, um, on the borders and I think they're just floating there so a little dimension there um, I think this was just a really sweet pattern I saw a stash buster there um, chances are you could probably find a yard in your stash just for the border alone and then scraps for the rest now those of you who know me uh, you know that I like the Jaybird quilts so here is a new one that I have not got. It's called Cutty, Cut, 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 la, 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 Cookie Cutter. It has one, two, three, four, five sizes from baby to king. It uses the super side kit, but it also, you can use the fussy cutting shapes. Okay. And she's got other of her patterns in there. And that one, this one is right in, in here. Uh, it's right here. So this, this I know you can use these shapes to do this or whatever shape she's making to cut these. You can fussy cut them with this or just cut them regularly with, uh, with whatever batiks or whatever floats your, your boat. Now, so now um, to keep on the theme of I also brought in the alphabet book, uh, soup, alphabet soup. These books are great. Her patterns are well written. Uh, I love her patterns. This takes the uh, Hexie and more and super sidekick. But also, if you look, there's the book right, right there. So it will. You can use these shapes for that book. 
And this is a great book to have if you ever need to do lettering or anything like that to, to uh, use. You have everything laid out uh, in here, uh, all your letters uh, in here, and you can do little buncings. Um, you could do, like, see how they're holding the uh, thing? You could do single ones and then all the alphabet, and then you can play with your kids and have them learn to spell. I mean, that would be fun. That would be fun. So it takes that shape. Now, the last one from her is Sweet Tooth, and it's a block of the month, and that is what it is. Again, you can use these shapes to cut, or if you have the Hexian more or Super Slide Kick, that's what the rulers call for. But you can also use these because I went and checked. Now, her patterns, like I said, are really well done. So this is a block of the month. She's got the months laid out for all the blocks. Each month, it's one block style, two colorways. But what I would do if I was doing this, and I, I, I think I will eventually someday. It's on my bucket list. I would, um, I would have... These two, I'd say, okay, this is what I'm doing, and I would put the colorways together, and then in the same month, I would go to the back of this book and do some of the construction for the backgrounds and prep. So by the time the 12 months are over, you won't just have the 12, uh, the 24 blocks done, you'll have everything that you need to put the, the whole quilt together. So that is, um, that is really good. Like I said, she has the instructions. This is all using um, two and a half inch strips. And I went and looked and the shapes that are in, in here, the size shapes is what she's using for this, this quilt. So these two you can do or you can just use and not do fussy cutting. She's used Kona cotton for the, the actual quilt uh, for that one. So then the last thing I wanted to show you in books is the simple half yard quilts. There are um, 16 ideas in here using half yard friendly quilts they're called and this one just got me. I do not get to see I see the cover. I have a little description when I'm ordering. They might have a picture like this, the back cover. They might choose one of these pictures like this one or something. And that's all I see of the books. I don't see anything else. So I'm actually buying fully blind. Um, so when I got it, I took a look. And I'm looking at the very first quilt on it. And it says Comet Quilt. And the size is 63 and a half by 77 and a half. I do not, I look at pictures. I do not always read. And I'm looking at this picture here. And I'm going, holy cow. I think I recognize that collection. Well, you see, hold on. Let me just move out of the way. That is the collection she's used, which is the um, Planetarium by Elizabeth Hartman. That is the collection she used. And this quilt calls for five half yards. And right here is the yardage uh, requirements and the cutting requirements. And it says right here, five half yards. So all the quilts that are in here takes, it, like this one here, they tell you you need nine half yards. So there is some really good um, quilts in here and really pretty, like super pretty. I mean, look what's on the back, just to give you an idea. So that is in the store. Now, the last thing I want to show you is the Welcome to My Pad, these guys. So these are, this one is one size. And you have uh, several different um, styles of frogs. You have um, a frog with the um, with the tongue out catching a fly, or a frog right here without the tongue. And then you have the same combination but with a cr crown. So some really great ideas here. You could uh, these blocks are not small. They're 15 and a half by 15 without the tongue. The tongue is 33 and a half. Uh, across from the frog to the end of the tongue um, by 15 tall 
And so you could do a combination of just the frogs and, and not do all these flies. So you can come up with your own ideas with that. Um, he's got a really good sense of humor, space bacon. I think, uh, and this is a spaceship with pigs in space suits. Like, how cute is that? This is um, a 53 by, uh, 43 by 50, so it's a really good uh, size uh, quilt for a young child or wall hanging. Um, this one here, it's called uh, Scrambled Eggs. You have your chickens and your eggs, it's two blocks. He's done two sizes, he's done the math for two sizes, 41 and a half by 41 and a half, or 65 and a half by 65 and a half. But you can do your own math and figure out how much more fabric you need and make that substantially bigger if you choose to do more blocks. So that is versatile. Um, now this one I couldn't resist. It's got a little squirrel and mushrooms. You have two style of mushrooms. You have the ones with the, the, the doors and the windows and the plain ones as he calls. So the ones that look like houses and the squirrel is sitting on top of those mushrooms. How cute is that? And, and that's uh, got two sizes. No, it's got one size, 40 by 48. And then this one is got, hold on, I'm missing one. I'm missing one, I'm missing one, I'm missing one. Oh no, this one has two sizes, sorry. So 41 and a half by 41, I think I already said that, okay. My brain's working. Okay, so this one is got two sizes, 42 and a half by 57 and three quarters, or 82 and a half by 92, uh, 90 and a quarter. So that is the smaller of the two. It's not that small. It's like, it's 57 and three quarters long. So that shape is quite big. This, this one down in the corner is that sheep, and then, as I call them, naked sheep. Now you could do, that sheep, kitty corner, um, you, yeah, th I think you could, yeah, I think you could do some up and change it around. You just maybe have to do some finagling. So, I thought that was cute. I'm a knitter, so I brought this one in because it just looks like, that looks like an argot, like that's color work right there. So, those are the patterns uh, so far. Now, I want to bring in and show you uh, some kits. Um, the first one is Fisher Price Let's Play Quilt Kit. That here is the uh, panel and it's all bordered up. It comes in a nice, nice, beautiful collection box and you have all your fabrics in there with the pattern. And I think that would look really cute on, on a shelf. Now, the next one I want to show you is this one this is and i did not bring the fabrics in for this so don't go looking on my website for the fatter i do have some Lori holt fabrics um but i did not bring in this collection so this one's called tomato pin cushion quilt kit by Lori holt for a uh, bee in my bonnet uh the quilt is a, a 58 by 70 and inside it's a nice collector's box and inside here you have the the layer cake and some background fabric and some border uh, the fabric for the green tomato tops and your binding fabric so you have everything in there that you would need except for your tools and wouldn't that look lovely on your shelf once it's all finished or to to put in another project now this one here is a pixel quilt. It's made with two and a half inch squares. It's called Happy Camper. Uh, the size is 70 by 86. It's not small at all. And in here you have your, look how beautiful the box is inside and out. So you have your pattern and you have your border fabric. You have your pattern and then you have all your fat quarters. Um, this is going to fall. You have all your fat quarters in here that you would need. And some of these pa fabrics are just, look, look how cute that is. Look how cute that is. And look how cute this one is. 
So like I said, you have your background fabric, you've got all the fabric you need in here with your pattern. And I think this is cute. Let me just make sure that I get this back in here correctly. And it comes in a beautiful thing. So it's a pixel quilt. You're working with two and a half inch, inch, inches. So there's that. Now, this is a new product. I've been requested. So this is called um, Flex Foam One-Sided Fusible. And it's great um, for bag making. And, and it's, it's a foam that you can sew through. And one side is uh, um, glue, so when you iron it sticks to the fabric. Um, I bought a, a bolt of it. Uh, I don't know what the width is. It's, I think it's, hold on, it's 20 inches. So from, it's 20 inches wide from here to here. So, and I'm, I'll be selling it, by the time this airs, it will be on the website. I will be selling it by the half meter, just like the fabrics that I sell. Now, the last thing I want to show you is the January's uh, Fat Quarter Club Medley. Okay, it is now available. Uh, because we're in February, so the January Fat Quarter Medley is available for anybody who's not part of the Fat Quarter Club. So I'm going to show you those fabrics. So there's this beautiful blue, and this is called, it's from Figo, it's called Acid Wash. This is called Blue. I thought these were really pretty. There's lots and lots of colors. I only brought six in. Um, I might in the future bring more. Acid Wash Ice. This one is Acid Wash Red. This one is Raspberry, Acid Wash Raspberry. And this one is Acid Wash Jade. It's gorgeous. It is a strong, dark jade like green. Just stunning. And this one is just called Acid Wash Green. So these will these are up and available to everybody now, and um, that's it for this week's uh, this this um, other day other uh, another day another share. I hope to see you next time. If you want to see more of these videos, subscribe and ring the bell to be notified. Um, every Friday we do um, an upload. Uh, probably around the nine o'clock hour. I used to do it a minute after midnight on Friday morning. And I, this year I said, yeah, that's got to stop. <laughs> we need to, to bring it down to more reasonable hour. Um, so, so now we have it coming on um, to, to upload around the nine o'clock hour. Um, uh, <sighs> I am doing um, a live Facebook on the Wednesdays around 11 o'clock um, on my Facebook page, uh, Mad Moody Quilting Fabrics, formerly known as Phyllis's Home Decor. I will eventually drop that as soon as I can figure out how to do that. Um, so, so I think if you just type in uh, Phyllis Home Decor, you would um, find me. Uh, you can uh, follow me there and then you can check out the live the live feeds that I do and on those live feeds I might show new products um, I might show uh, some patterns that I brought in but what I'm really doing those live feeds for is to show you the fabrics that are special of the week so every every week on the Monday morning a new special goes on for the week and it's sometimes they're 10% discounted, sometimes they're 15% discounted, sometimes they're 20% discounted for that week and it runs from the Monday to the Sunday night till the following Monday. So if you get if you get on let's say at 6 in the morning you might still manage to get the the that special from the week before because my husband changes it uh, when he gets up in the morning so we don't rush it so if you get on early in the morning and you say oh I want it I want to have it then 
you know, you've been thinking about it and then you decide you, you really have till Monday in the wee hours of the morning to still get it. And I'm talking like six in the morning. So AM, my time. So anyways, like I said, if you want to see more of these, subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when we upload. But we'll see you on the next other day, another share. Bye-bye.